hello guys welcome back many of my friends and my youtube subscribers uh, requested me to provide an example about android fragments that's why i create this video so here in this example i created a project which demonstrate the working of fragments in android so here i add a button for starting the first fragment again here at another button for starting the second fragment okay this is the first fragment start button and I change it as ID of the button is change it as B1 and here is the second button change the ID into B2 and change the text of the first button as <coughs> start fragment 1 and change the text of the second button as start fragment 2 okay now look at the graphical layout this is there are two buttons this is whenever user click the button it will open up the first fragment and whenever user click the second button it will open up the second fragment and change the width of the button as match parent here also change the width of the button as match parent ok now I am going to add another relative layout into this activity for adding the first fragment so add a relative layout provide an ID for the layout Android ID plus ID equal to FR FR1 I name it as FR1 ID and now set the layout for the now set the layout width and height of the layout Android layout height a given height as 150 density pixel and change the layout width as match parent ok also align the going to align this layout below plus id that is I'm going to align it below the second button that means the button with the ID B2 so align below B2 ok now there are two buttons and here is the first relative layout so this is this layout is for placing the first fragment so now I am going to add another relative for placing another fragment on the same activity and uh, and I'm change the I change the ID of the second relative layout as FR2 ID and again the height is 150 density pixel and here I'm going to align this layout into the FR1 the ID of the first relative layout okay now here in this activity there are two buttons and uh, two relative layouts ok now go to the main activity here first you need to create an object of two buttons button B1 I change it as B1 and B2 ok uh, now set the action listener for the two buttons so b1 equal to uh, find view by id r dot id dot this is b1 and cast it into button cast it into button so save it now again do the same for the button b2 Here it is B2 
and change the id into b2 okay now set action listener for the first button so b1 dot set on click listener new view dot on click listener add to import some packages okay and here you need a semicolon okay now we have to set the action listener for the second button so b2 dot set on click listener new view dot on click listener again you need to add a semicolon here okay so now we just add two buttons into the activity and also we create the action listeners for the two buttons okay now we have to create the first fragment so creating for creating the first fragment first you have to create that class for the first fragment so create a new java class and name it as fragment one and click finish so now you need another fragment also so create again create a new class and name it as fragment 2 and click finish now we create two classes for the fragments now we have to create layout for the fragments so go to the resource folder and go to the layout folder right click the layout folder and create choose the new option and from the other option choose Android XML file click next and you need to provide a file name here I name it as fragment fragment 1 layout fragment 1 layout and click finish now we got the first fragment layout now we have to add the second fragment layout and click new option and choose other and choose Android XML file click next name it as fragment fragment 2 layout fragment 2 layout and click finish okay now we get now we just create the layout for the two fragment fragment 1 layout and fragment 2 layout okay now we'll go to the fragment 1 layout this is the fragment 1 layout go to the XML version here the height of the fragment is much better I change it into I change it into 150 uh, density pixel now we have to set some background color for the fragment so go to Google so go to Google and type for some HTML color codes so there, there, is, there are a lot of websites available for selecting the HTML color codes I choose the first one from this website you can choose a suitable color code so here I just choose the dark red color and from here copy the code now go to Eclipse again so here I'm going to add the background color for the fragment so Android Android background provide and hash symbol and paste that code here okay now take a look at the graphical layout here we just change the height of the layout as 150 density pixel and change the color of the fragment background into red okay now go to the second fragment here is the layout of the second fragment again go to the XML file here also I'm going to change the height of the fragment as 150 density pixel okay now again go to that website choose another color code choose another color code I choose a green one and copy this code again go to Eclipse and provide a background color for the second fragment layout and throw it and throw it background provide a hash symbol and paste that code okay now look at the graphical layout here also the height is 150 density pixel and change the color into green okay now we have to code the fragment class so here is the first fragment here is fragment 1.java open up that class it is just a java class so I extends it, it with a fragment okay so now I'm going to override that override method called uh, on create view on create view
on click view on click view method on create view okay there are some um, error surplus in here okay uh, one more thing you need to do is to okay one more thing you need to do is to change the minimum SDK version into 11 so go to the Android XML file and choose the XML version here the minimum SDK version is 8 so fragment is only available from version 11 Android minimum SDK version from 11 that's why that error is occur so now go to the fragment one okay now it's fine so now I'm going to inflate that fragment layout so create a view object view v equal to by using that inflator layout inflator object and use that method called inflate first you need to provide the layout of the fragment r dot layout dot it is fragment one layout and provide root here root is container one more argument here I give it as false okay now you need to return this view return v okay do the same thing for the second fragment also copy this code go to the fragment2.java extends extends fragment and paste the code here here it is fragment 2 layout fragment 2 layout okay now we just got the two fragments now we have to add these two fragments into the main activity whenever user click the buttons so go to the main activity.java file so here is the action listener for the first button so whenever user click the first button it will display the first fragment so you need to create an object of fragment manager class fragment manager fm equal to there is a method called uh, get fragment manager okay so now to make the fragment transaction you need to import the packages so here some errors are fragment manager fragment manager get fragment manager okay here some errors are okay here the package is uh, I delete this package and import fragment manager dot android dot app okay now it is solved so now for taking the transaction you need to create an object of fragment transaction fragment transaction if the equal to fm dot begin transaction okay now we have to add the first fragment into the first relative layout that means on the main activity there are two relative layouts this is the first relative layout and this is the second relative layout so whenever user click the first button the first fragment will appear on the first relative layout so uh, save it and go to the main activity so here I'm going to add the first fragment into the first relative layout so ft dot there is a method called add first you have to provide that fragment ID to which uh, from uh, so uh, before doing going to do that you need to create that an object of that fragment class here the first fragment class is fragment 1 so fragment 1 f1 equal to new fragment 1 okay so f1 dot f1 dot add first you need to provide to which to where you have to add the fragment you need to add the fragment so 
uh, dot id dot I'm going to add it into the first layout first relative layout with id fr1 dot id and provide the tag here here the tag is object of that fragment class f1 okay now I add the first fragment into the relative layout so now I have to commit the transaction so ft dot commit okay now do the same thing for the second fragment whenever you select the second button you have to add the second fragment into the second relative layout here it is fragment 2 here it is fragment 2 okay now we have to add the second fragment into second fragment into the second relative layout okay now save it now we successfully complete the coding of this example now we have to run it so right click the project and choose run as android application okay here I am using the Jenny motion Jenny motion AVD and choose that click OK open that AVD okay now here the project will appear so I click the first button start fragment 1 it will show up the first fragment and again click the second button it will show up the second fragment there is some mismatch here sorry I have to add the second fragment into second layout second fragment into the here the first fragment I add it into the first rel relative layout so here I have to add fr2 save it again now run the project again choose Jenny motion click OK OK it is too fast and click start fragment start first fragment here it will start up the first fragment again click start second fragment it will show up the second fragment so now I just click the bike button it will close up the it will close up the Android it will close up that app so in order to avoid that you need to add it into the back stack before commit so ft dot ft dot There is a method called add it to backstack and provide a string name. I name it as F1. I just add the first fragment. I just add the first fragment transaction into the backstack of activity. Again, add the second fragment transaction into backstack. Add it to ft dot add it to backstack and provide a string name. I name it as F2 okay save it now again run the application run us android application and choose the avd click ok okay now here again the project is started click the first fragment and open up the second fragment so now whenever i click the bike button it will show up the first transaction and again click the second button it will show up the second transaction and close the fragment close that android application okay guys this is a simple application that demonstrating simple android fragments please subscribe my channel now for getting more video updates thank you for watching see you in the next part